So my emotion at this point is a simple one. It's I've I've lost my love. My husband of 20 years has died. Um, so mine is kind of pretty clear um, at this point. And Candace is my best friend and my biggest support. But for for Shannon, playing Candace is very different because in the scene she's playing two things. Yeah, I'm playing a few things. Yeah, <laughs> two, three. Um, you know, it's the, Abby needs. Candice and I want to be there but it's so unbelievably hard because firstly I've lost my love but on the other level I can totally mourn him he's been a friend of 20 years I've worked with him uh, we work together very closely so she can get away with it but it's just a lot not forever just a lot <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, both of us. You know, really, you know, light stuff, really light and enjoyable. We spend really, our yeah. days crying, crying just sobbing. Different, at different levels, which is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> the writing is very good, and when the writing is very good, that for me is that you just say the words, and the words are they channel you into a sadness rather than kind of trying yeah, to stick it's something right on there. top. I feel very present in all the mm. script work. It's right there I don't have to dig look sometimes the days are long and you've had to do the scene a few times and you kind of lose a bit of that juice but I just really focus on um, I don't know I, I'm finding I don't know how you finding it and I haven't shot any scenes with Brendan yet but I've imagined the romantic scenes and the intimate scenes um, and so when I feel I might be battling with noise or vibration because there's so many things that can distract mm -hmm. you I tap into a couple of images that I've conjured for myself of, of um, Trent and Candace together and that kind of gets me right back up there but really it's, the writing's just so and sometimes the days are so yes. long so long that, yeah. that you, you just, just cry because you just, you're so <laughs> you're tired, so you're tired. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what to do it anymore Hey, uh, let's, let's go. But it's, it's also acting opposite be like beautiful people who are great actors. Beautiful, I mean, it's not yeah, beautiful like the on the inside. You see, like, I mean, Tate and I, one of our first days together, it's when... It was I, our first day yeah. together. And as I looked at her in the eyes, I just felt so connected to her. It just, it just was amazing. It was so easy. There wasn't there wasn't any acting. It was really you, just being. You, you're being empathetic, yeah. you, and that's a human. It, it's human nature. When you see someone is upset, you get upset. So there's, I think, there's a lot of that in, yeah, that, in the is. show, kind of passing. Just the, the actual togetherness and everyone's experiences, yeah. and everyone's so rooted and tapped in. It just, just happens. Comes. Just comes. Hi guys. I hope you enjoyed our little behind the scenes tete a tete. Fire. Again. Fired. Fired right, him. We'll try again. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our little behind the scenes tete a tete with myself and Kate Licorice. Catch us next week uh, for more intrigue on episode four of Still Breathing. <sighs> We're still breathing. <laughs> <laughs>